All right, so ladies and gentlemen, what we have here is find the measure of each um, exterior angle for an octagon. Now, we were talking about that problem on the review, which I thought was the gimme, right? The gimme problem. Because the gimme problem, what it says, Phillips, is what is the measure of a 200 gon, of an exterior angle? And remember what the measure of all the exterior angles were for a 200 gon? 360. And what do you think the measure of all the exterior angles would be for a 100 gon? 360. What about a 2,000 gon? 360. Yes, the measure of all your exterior angles, the sum of the measures of all your exterior angles, will always be equal to 360 degrees. So here, ladies and gentlemen, what they're asking us is they want to find the measure of one exterior angle. But do we know what the measure of all the sum of the exterior angles are for an octagon? What is the measure of sum of all the angles in an octagon? Well, that's the number of sides. 360, right? Now, ladies and gentlemen, we have, let's see, make sure they clarify, this is a regular polygon. If we, if we look at this, um, remember, a regular polygon, all the angles are exactly the same. And all the side lengths are exactly the same measure. Okay, All these angles are exactly the same in measure. Because they said it's a regular polygon. I just didn't write it down on the problem. Now, if you guys remember, when we were drawing exterior angles, to draw an exterior angle, what you want to do is you want to extend the side length. So if I extend the side length here, all right, I have these nice little now exterior angles, which are in pink. Now, since all the interior angles are exactly the same, can you guys maybe justify that all the exterior angles are going to be the exactly the same measurement as well? So, and since the exterior and interior angles are a linear pair, all the exterior angles are going to be exactly the same measurement. So how many exterior angles do I have? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So I have the same amount of exterior angles as I do as the number of sides. So therefore, I can just say 360 equals, or let's just call this, let's call these angles x and 8x. Because all I really want to do now is I just want to see I have eight, 8 of them, and they all add up to 360. So now, I just divide by 8. And what'd you get? You get it? Yes, Damon? Um, Monday, yeah? Huh? Well, let's go ahead and check. 360 divided by 8 is 45. So therefore, um, the measure of one exterior angle is 45 degrees. Because we know the sum is always 360. So guys, if you want to find the measure of one exterior angle, take the sum and divide it by the number of sides. Okay. All right, so what your, what your guys' goal is for today?